Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the mic check. Mic check. Is this thing on? How you guys doing today? Well, I'm doing great. And I'll tell you why. Because it is just beautiful to be alive, baby. All right, you guys, this is a great time to be alive. We're in the midst of a technical revolution, a technological revolution, a life changing revolution, guys. We're right smack dab in the middle of it. All right, before I go on, I just want to ask you to take a minute to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell. Okay? The more activity I have on this video sends this kind of content out to people who don't really know much about crypto on YouTube. So the more view time I have on this video, the more thumbs ups I have on this video, the more subscribers I have. YouTube has an algorithm where they will push out my content to more and more people. And you guys, this is not about me. Okay, I'm not, this is not about me. This is about cryptocurrency, okay, and money. This is a money channel. And my the focus of my channel is to try to get information, the, the information I receive out to the public, out to people who haven't heard it yet or are trying to dig into more of that information and try to piece it together themselves for themselves. So this is try, I'm trying to get information out to you guys and to other people who don't know much about it. We have a ton of people guys. All right. Lately I have been focusing a lot on XRP. Okay. A lot. I do other cryptos too. Okay. I we do, do all cryptos across the board, but lately there's been a ton of hype on XRP. We are in, we are in a very sensitive time period for xrp guys now we've also acquired more xrp fans and and holders lately not we haven't acquired them but they've acquired xrp there's been more and more noobs to the xrp ripple xrp space okay and the crypto space in general but now people come and ask what should i get into what should i get into my number one the thing i tell them First thing I tell them is XRP, okay, because it has something solid, extremely solid going for it, and it's not just a rogue coin, okay. They have they talk with the IMF. They're talking with the White House for Christ's sakes, you guys. Ripple is in continuous talks with the White House. There's a lot going on in the background, and there are non-disclosure agreements that don't let the media – um, don't let the Ripple employees, it, it doesn't let the, any of their partners, doesn't let the IMF, it do, they don't want to talk about it. They cannot talk about it yet because they're still, they're still making their plans solid and solidifying the plans that they have. Okay. And um, a lot of stuff is going on in the background, but XRP is at a prime time to buy. And I'm going to show you why. Okay. Um, so... I'll show you why right now. Okay, actually this one is better. I like this one. Well, I like this one better because I I just made a chart and, and some trend lines that it's respecting very closely. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Okay, let's back out. I'm going to back out to the one year. Okay, this is where we're at, guys, on the XRP Bitcoin chart. And this is looking so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. Come back here. All right. Now, we, bounced, we got out of this big trend line a little while ago. Okay. We, we bounced out, okay, came back to test it, bounced up again. We weren't ready for a complete bull run yet. XRP was not ready. This was in the end of last year. Um, Bitcoin was the one that was starting to get ready, okay? Um, now, Bitcoin has been on a huge bull run. 
it has started its bull run. I'll correct myself. It hasn't been on one, but it has been on a bear run for the last 15 months. And then just lately, um, last month or two, it's basically been confirmed that we're in a big bull run. Um, now, unless it comes crashing down through the 3,200 mark and goes even lower, then we're in a bull run. Okay. Now, I think we are, Bitcoin's going to need to come back down and it's going to have to confirm at either, uh, I, I would like to, I would like it to at least come down to 6,000 and confirm on that trend line. Personally, I hate, I hate to say it, but I would really like it if it came back down on 3,200 mark and confirmed right there and then bounced up and continue and started the massive bull run that we're going to see in the next two years. That would be a great confirmation. I don't think that's going to happen though. I think we're only going to at the, at the most, we're only coming to coming back down to 6,000. We might not even do that. Okay. There's so much, there's just so much infrastructure built already um, since the last bull run. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, Fidelity, you know, Wall Street, there's regulations uh, being talked about in the background, the G20 summit coming up. Um, so apparently these these are the top, uh, uh, many of the, the cryptos in the top 10 on the market cap are going to be paired against gold. So we're going to find out um, June 5th, June 6th. Okay, that's supposed to be the day. Now, the reason that that sounds really good, intriguing to me is look at this pattern we're in now this is a bullish pattern to me this is a bullish pattern okay because we're respecting this trend line here okay we broke it but nope nope we decided nope don't want to break it that's a false breakout came back down oh broke it again up oh, now we're just totally consolidating and i think we are coming up from here and making a bull pennant and in fact, look, um, I think this was our low point, okay? Since we already broke out, this is the confirmation. We came up here, tested this resistance, okay? This is a resistance right here. Tested this. It wasn't, we weren't quite ready yet. We have to come back down, okay? That's the first resistance we tested since we came back from uh, from down here. Okay, so this was a retest of this, of this large triangle pattern, this large uh, support that used to be a resistance. Okay, it was, it started right here. Now it became resistance right here. Weren't ready to, to quite get out of it yet. We weren't, we had to come back down. We had to rest a little. XRP needed to rest. Okay, it had been in a long time, a big, it had been in a huge rally okay the previous years and um i mean you can't argue with eighty thousand percent can you eighty eighty thousand percent gains now it's gonna it's gonna take time to rest after the that crazy amount of gains you don't just see it keep going up okay it has to rest it has to calm down it has to breathe all right so came down okay tried to get out of it again um you know, came back down, now consolidated, consolidated, tried to get out of it again. No, no, not ready yet. Now, but we were close to being ready because we got out of it. We came back down. We weren't able to come back through it like we did previous times. Okay. We bounced along the outside of it, went up, weren't exactly ready for a bull run yet. Not quite yet. That was back in December. Okay. Right before the new year. All right. So we kind of just drifted, drifted. What is Ripple XRP waiting for? Maybe, maybe the, the buy and sell walls were there. The sell wall was here. They said, no, we cannot let it get above this point yet. Not yet. Okay. Especially now, especially since we, we don't want it to be volatile. Okay. Because then the, the banks don't like that. The regulators don't like that. Okay. We have to show them. We have to prove that this currency can be, this digital asset can be stable 
enough that it can be utilized safely without any concern of losing money during a, a transfer, okay? Losing value. All right, now, so now it has stabilized tremendously, okay? It's been in a really stable period the last couple months here. And we've just been chilling here, just chilling, waiting, just waiting. Look where we're at, you guys. Look where we're at. This is on the Bitcoin chart. So Bitcoin's been doing its thing, but Bitcoin is not trying to prove anything to anyone, right? Um, it's, it ain't trying to. Bitcoin's just doing its own thing. Now, XRP, Ripple, the company itself, has been trying to prove how stable and un, not volatile this this coin is okay this digital asset all right so look this ends oh that's my birthday june 7th but it actually i think it ends a little end a little sooner than that let's see on the 5th june 5th this ends june 5th okay now that's that's when crypto bird dog is telling us that the comex uh 589 rule will start taking place so basically what I think is going to happen once we get out, once we end on June 5th, I think June 4th might be the last time we can buy cheaply. We'll see. Um, I'm telling you guys, this is a great time to buy. This is a great time to buy. Okay. We've been going down so much. It's totally uh, oversold. We're in oversold territory. Um, I do not see it going down anymore. Okay. I don't see it going down anymore. I should draw a line right there, actually. This is a trend line right here. Um, okay, so we got out of this. All right, so I explained a lot to you right there. Um, yeah, I expect to see just a massive gain from here, just a big green candle on June 5th. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to play this in the background real quick. Because this is something that, another prediction, take it with a grain of salt. Bitcoin Ben has been telling us, he he, he, he knows someone at uh, Gemini and who is telling us that in a, within two weeks, we're going to have a massive change in the cryptocurrency community as far as regulations. Um, he got this inside information. He can't tell us much, but he told us within the next two weeks, we will see huge gains in Bitcoin, Litecoin, XRP, Ethereum, and EOS. And I think he said Bitcoin Cash too. So let me just play that real quick. This is going to happen in the next two weeks. That, all right, that within the first two weeks of next month, probably towards the middle of next month, there's going to be a major announcement and this, this, this will be, this will be talked about on CNBC, All right? This will be, this will be the talk of cryptos for a week on all the platforms. The big players know about it already. They're starting to trickle it out to people like me, you know, who just, you know, are in the crypto world and who do shows that get good viewership. That's it. They uh, they give me a heads up so I can kind of give you a heads up. Anybody that knows anything about <clears throat> The elites of the world, the rich of the world. And I don't mean the the rich. I mean the wealthy, the stupid wealthy people. They they sprinkle information. A F A T F. F A T F. Mm. Uh, where did I put it? Financial Action Task Force. I cannot confirm nor deny 
what your super chat wrote was correct. Just saying. Now, there's a guy out in San Francisco that watches my show. And he knows the guy in New York. They don't talk on a regular basis. Plausible deniability, I guess you could say. (laughs) Because if they talked on a regular basis, they could be, I don't know, maybe accused of market rigging. If they communicated on a regular basis. But if one of them, Litecoin, Ethereum, XRP, CKJ, CKJ, yes, my friend. XRP is going to go up this weekend. There. You happy, my XRP friends? Are you happy? Yes. I, no, because it hasn't gone up yet. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. You better be telling XRP. the truth, Ben. Hold ah. on. Oh, and also EOS. Damn it. Sorry, Bix. I know you hate the I don't like EOS, but I guess apparently a lot of people are talking about it. Are gonna run I don't like EOS, but like people are talking about it. Yeah. This weekend. I've heard a lot about it lately, so once again. I'm not I'm putting XRP last. I'm mentioning XRP last. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, EOS. And XRP. Okay, so he didn't say um, Bitcoin Cash, but I think Bitcoin Cash was supposed to be included. Uh, so big news coming out. Insiders telling Bitcoin Ben, people starting to talk. Um, Crypto Bird Dog has that thing about the Comex 589 and, and the gold backed XRP. Uh, let's okay. So I don't want to bore you anymore. I, I know that was it's it's tough playing a clip of Bitcoin Ben. I love Bitcoin Ben, by the way. I'm not there's I love Bitcoin Ben. He's such a great personality in the crypto space. All right. Uh so anyways, um, but yeah, it's hard to play a clip of him because he does draw his um he he draws his information out, um, which is what I'm doing right now. So, anyways, let me get back to where I was going with this. Now we're gonna look at the XRP USD chart real quick. Um the other day I put this out. This is the daily chart or the month. I think that was a month chart. This is the daily chart. Just yesterday, I believe, I, I drew this. Okay, it was right here. And it's been, it went up. It's been following that trend line. It went up, 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 oh, oh, oh. No, 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 not yet. Not yet. Oh, no, but we weren't ready to break through that yet. Now we're respecting this trend line here. We're bouncing on. Bouncing on it. We might do that something like that. Or we might just bounce on it for a little while longer. Um, it seems to just be following Bitcoin at this point. Because Bitcoin's not doing much right now. So, um, unfortunately, it didn't do that exactly when I was hoping it would. But that's fine. It's, it's no big deal. Like, no one's ever, like correct like down to the second all right um go to the monthly chart see what see we're following now we're bouncing on this one it's a possibility we could break it and come back down to this one but i doubt it i mean i think that's why we came back and confirmed right here came back didn't quite go as low and then started a trend line right up here okay kind of get up got out of this this trend line here Kind of went up a little, but now that we're out of this one, we you know we don't have to follow this one as much because we the, the important thing was we got out of this one right here. Now we're coming back down, confirming, 
confirming we're going to see another bounce up, hopefully higher high. I think that's what we'll probably see is another higher high, maybe a higher low, or maybe another bounce off of it. I, I don't know. Um, all I know is I think we're not going to see much. We're going to see us go, go much lower. The lowest we'll go is like, so this was the 30th. I really think that was the confirmation right there. Okay. Now, um, I want to show you something on Twitter. This right here, Sir Gordon Gecko, Gordon Gecko 369, go follow him. He showed us this XRP. There are XRP, XAU pairs on GateHub. Let's click on that. Okay, interesting pairings. And I want to show you why this goes kind of almost to where basically what I was saying about uh, David Schwartz saying that XRP was going to hit, was going to go up to about $9 the next leg up. Okay, this could happen on June 5th. And I'm not making the prediction, I'm not saying it will. Okay. Let's be very clear about that. I'm not saying it will. It's not a prediction. I'm saying it's a possibility. There's a difference. Okay. Um, now, what it says here is GateHub is saying that one ounce of gold is equal to 76 XRP. Wow. Now, I did the math. One ounce of gold right now is $1,300. If you divide that into 76, it comes out to $8. Okay, GateHub is telling us that XRP is worth $8 at this moment. Okay, this would fall into place with, with the whole crypto bird dog prediction. <clears throat> Okay, with the COMEX going to 589, going into effect yesterday, now the exchanges are preparing for it and they're they're converting and they're they're now they're backing our uh, the XRP off of the gold price and this is what it's valued at. This is just something I saw on on X on uh on Twitter. Okay, um, now if this is true and and it's at eight dollars, we we probably should see a rise pretty soon and. And my block folio was acting rather funny yesterday for for a few hours there. I couldn't refresh it. It wouldn't let me see my balances. It was all jacked up and all these weird symbols were showing up. It was just, it wasn't acting right. And it might have something to do with this. I'm not sure. Okay. Now I want to show you the gold chart and then I'm going to end this video. Gold charts looking bullish, you guys. One year. Look at this gold chart. And I want to show you what kind of pattern we're seeing and what kind of what we what kind of uh <clears throat> expectations we could have for gold in the next year. Okay. All right, so the the financial crisis, you guys, in 2008. Okay, the recession. At the very beginning of it, we did gold dropped. Okay, okay, because everything was going great. Okay, financial crisis set in. People hurt. Started hearing about exactly what was happening. People started selling their gold. Okay, stock market, everything. Um, and then gold started going up. It went on the biggest rally we've seen in a long time. Okay, it went up over like 200% or so. All right. Now it, it came down, it sold off. Okay, it came down to here. Keep going down. Now, <clears throat> what we're in, I can actually get rid of this. Get rid of this. So it's not confusing. Um, now, we gold has been holding on to this strong trend line since the beginning of. Uh, 2007 it's been on a strong trend line and that's 
over a 10 year trend line. So it's a very strong trend line, guys. It's been respecting this trend line for over 10 years. Now we bounced off it. We started it over here, bounced off it once, had this crazy rally, came back down, bounced off it an another time, almost hit it again, but didn't quite. Um, bounced off it a third time. Now if we zoom in, it looks like we, we confirmed there. We tried, they tried, tried to break through it. Okay. Now we did hit this curved, this curved support. Okay. That we've been seeing. Okay. Similar to like the S curve. Okay. I, I drew this right here since 96. We've been in a curve, a curve, curve, been respecting this curve here. And we started respecting it again, bounced off of it. Now there's an inflection point right here. I want you to see that. Okay. Looks like we're past that. So we are in an ascending triangle pattern. This is a very, in the long term, this is a bullish thing. This is a very bullish thing, even in the short term. Um, within the next year, we most likely will break out of it to the upside because we've seen higher lows. Okay. We're not seeing higher highs. We haven't seen them for seven six years or so okay and that's fine because we, we're consolidating higher lows we're in an ascending triangle pattern and what what do you guys what do we know about ascending triangle patterns lately especially in bitcoin every time we see these lately we bounce we crack out of them and we, we smashed through them. Actually, Bitcoin has just been on a tear since in the last three months, since it broke out of its ascending triangle pattern past 4,000. It was stuck at 4,000. It was at 6,000. It uh, capitulated down to 3,200. Then it started hitting the 4,000 4, mark and finally broke out of it. Now it's at, what is it, at 8,500? Okay. So... <clears throat> We're going to see more and more, or we could just break out of it anytime, anytime. And um, we are going to go to the upside, guys. Gold will go to the upside. Okay. The lowest I could see it getting would be like 1230. That would be the lowest. It ain't going to get any lower than that. That's for sure. It, it could possibly hit this inflection point and go up from there. Or it could just keep going up. Okay. So it's going to stay probably somewhere here or go up. It's not going to get any lower than this. Okay, guys. All right. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I love you guys. Okay. Spread the good knowledge. Spread positivity. Don't hate on people in the cryptocurrency space. Okay. Bitcoin men and... Um, Bitcoin Ben and, and uh, Sam I am just had a debate, but it was, you know, it was it was only to bring up the good points of the cryptos that they support. It wasn't to hate on the other crypto. OK, it's only to provide information for everyone to base their decisions off of. OK, guys. So let's just keep that good energy going, you guys, in the crypto space. All right. Crypto Mike is my name. Cryptocurrency is my game. You guys. You guys have a great day. All right. I'll see you in the